All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is of course Bold RC. I'm coming to you guys again with yet another video. And of course this week the weather's been crazy, so I got a few whites, the blacks, snake skin, a whole bunch of different shoes in this week's rotation. And since today is Saturday, I'm shooting this one in advance and I'm wearing the all white Ultra Boost. I will be skipping Saturday for this week. I told you guys I'm gonna try to keep them out, but sometimes I just, you just can't keep them out of your rotation, you just really can't. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this week's sneaker rotation. Let's go on there, let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. All right, y'all, so for Monday, we started off a little light, you know, nothing crazy. Um, but this is a pair of shoes that I actually did a trash or treasure on. I just haven't worn them in a while. And um, that is the Nike Air Presto. This is the Unholy Cumulus pair. And if you guys have not seen my trash or treasure on these, I actually got these for 60 bucks. Um, cleaned them up a bit, and now they look, you know, a lot better. Of course, I threw in some new insoles as well. Um, but the Presto itself is actually a really dope model. As far as sizing goes, since I haven't been able to like wear these around a lot, a lot, I believe this is a size large, which is, which is an 11 to a 12. Um, I usually wear an 11 and a half to a 12. And I would have to say, I probably would have rather took the XL just to get a little bit more room in them. Uh, I don't know, when I like keep wearing them like for a while, like long time wear, like right up here in the toe, it just starts to hurt. So I would say if you're going for Prestos, I feel like it's the same way for the flying at Prestos. Definitely go for the larger size. If you wear an 11, then you're cool. You can get the 11 to a 12. But if you wear a 12, definitely probably get the 12 to a 13. It's gonna fit a little bit better. But that was Monday, so let's go ahead and hop into Tuesday. Uh, nigga, when my name come up, respect it. All right, so for Tuesday, I actually reached back kind of far in my sneaker collection. Like, I say, I think these came out about last year. Um, but I just haven't really worn them in like a really long time. And that is the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2. And that is the Hot Lava pair. This is of course the pink Hot Lava joints. You know, they had that really crazy Air Tech Challenge 2 time where they brought the Hot Lava ones and then they started bringing out the, like the Clay Blues, the Poison Greens, the uh, Kumquat um, pairs and they just were like dropping Air Tech Challenge 2 after Air Tech Challenge 2. And eventually they just lost their steam. You know, any steam they had, they lost them. Um, these were popping up back on the sale racks like they were, I'm pretty sure when they came out. I think they retroed in 07. Uh, my friend G was telling me because that's the first time I've ever seen these shoes and um, yeah man they just lost their steam after a while you know it's like a good thing like just like the new Griffies um, they're bringing the Griffies back and I've seen this denim or like Olympic pair of those joints and the, the Griffies are destined to die again like they've died once but they're about to die twice but anyways that was Tuesday let's get into Wednesday he done crossed us out tell him tell him get it off your chest bird man now for Wednesday I went with the actual more recent pickup um, this is a shoe that you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate. A lot of people hate them, a lot of people love them. But that is the all white Kaza High, the all white Y3 Kaza High. And I actually got these, if you didn't catch the unboxing video, for about $155 off of retail. So shout out to Slam Jam Socialism out in Italy. They actually shipped these out to me in two days. It shipped off on Tuesday, got to me on Thursday. Um, but as far as this model goes, it's weird because the all white is usually a neoprene upper and I feel like it is still neoprene. But this one's like way, way stiffer than your regular neoprene Y3. And I almost wish I would've just got my size 12. Um, I went down a half a size because in most of the Y3s in the Kaza Highs, that's what you wanna do. But since this material doesn't stretch as much on the top, um, it just makes them a little bit a little bit less comfortable than what they should be. Um, so that is the all white Kaza High from Y3. Um, definitely a dope summer kick either way. I'm still gonna rock them either way. And like I said, it's a love or hate shoe. What do we get into for single to mile? Like what? I did it already. So why I come here? I did it already. I'm here. So what's happening? Now for single to mile, I actually went with another new pickup, and that is the Master Air Jordan 12. Um, I will be doing a full review on these. I just, I'm just trying to make sure I have time at least to get the weekly secret rotation out because I should be able to try to get these out by like Monday or Tuesday. I'm gonna try to get both the Air Max 98 and as well as the Master 12 reviews out. This one's gonna be more of a just an on feet feature um, because you guys have seen the shoe before. Not too much I need to explain on it. It's just a dope Air Jordan 12. Not too much going on with it. Black, white, gold accents. Y'all know what it is. The Master 12. Now, what did I wear on Friday? I could have pulled up, but I don't think that was gangster. I wanted to come look in your face like a man and tell you how I feel. All right, so for Friday, another new pickup, and you guys know I had to do it this week. I had to undes these like immediately, and that is the Supreme Air Max 98. Like I said, another people, another shoe that people love to hate, and 
hate to love because I know some people just they like them but when they have they say a supreme on they just it's got to be hype beast cannon fodder but honestly the colorway on the shoe and just the silhouette is actually pretty fire I have never really honestly been completely 100% honest with you guys um, pay too much attention to the Air Max 98 model until Supreme collab with them, which I think is really dope for brands to collab on shoes that aren't really known, um, you know, just to bring awareness to the shoe that is a dope silhouette. And this is a dope silhouette. If another shoe comes out with some crazy colorways on these, I would be looking for it, which I think is awesome. I think it's dope. And uh, people can say what they want to say, but these joints in the sunlight in the summer are killers. That's Friday. You guys already know what happened for Saturday. So let's go ahead and jump into the last shoe of this week. And we, we had to finish out strong. We had to finish out with something something very strong this week. Did you pull up on Ross that way or Trick Daddy? Man, I'm pulling up on you, nigga. All right, so my last shoe for Sunday, like I said, we had to finish this week off extremely strong. And it's another shoe that I have not worn in a while. They're actually still pretty clean on the bottom. Um, but it's a shoe that I remember, I think, I'm pretty sure I paid resale on these, like 310 or 320, which was really good when these first came out. Um, you know, these were going for a lot of money when they first came out. And if you guys don't know what these are, these are, of course, the Toro, Toro 23, um, the all infrared Air Jordan 6. And this release was one that I lost out on at retail, like I said. Um, and I've seen a dude rocking these joints at the mall and the color is crazy. Like the, my camera does these shoes no justice at all. This is one of those shoes that you really have to see in person. Um, and it's one of those shoes that was really crazy, really hot. And I think it just, people kind of forgot about it. Um, and it's just one of those shoes that I'm really glad that I have. Um, I'm glad that they're still in really good condition. I have worn them a few times. Um, but this is definitely a very special shoe in, uh, in my collection. I think when I dropped the video on these, I got a good amount of views on it as well. Um, so these are definitely one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Um, you know, I had to track them down. I paid to resell for them. And it's just one of those shoes I don't really ever see myself letting go no matter what. Um, but anyways, that is the last shoe for this week's rotation. Um, probably, I don't want to say my favorite shoe this rotation, but... It, it, it's slick. I think this is probably my favorite shoe this rotation for sure. But anyways guys, that is it. Let me know what you rocked this week. What was your favorite shoe that you grabbed? You know, did you cop anything? Um, you know, what did you wear? What, what was your favorite shoe you rocked this week? And what was your favorite shoe from this week's rotation? You can say it's all trash. You can say, oh, I liked a few things. Um, you can hate on the Supreme Air Max a little bit more. That's fine too. <laughs> but anyways guys, that is it. Much love to all the fam followers and supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snups here there blase blah and of course bullet rc i'm going to see you guys next video um is there anything else i need to say any any other updates um if you guys have not already we're dropping some new stuff on sample industries i will leave a link down below to the new lookbook um you know what i'm saying definitely check that out and i think that's it man y'all have a, a nice nice sunday evening whenever you're seeing this that'll be easy Peace. I ain't got no more talking. Let's rock. All right. All right. Yeah, See you later, nigga.